Oh, we're gonna get acrobatics, aren't we? Uh, yeah, Bonnet's dead. <laughs> Wait, no, Bonnet's a beast! What? Pokemon Violet and Scarlet are finally here, and I have just completed my first VGC team. So we'll be rocking the Palafin, Arcanine, Fluttermane, Esparthra, uh, Brute Bonnet, and Corviknight. For a full team breakdown, I'll do that at the end of the video so we can just get straight into the battles. All right, here we are with a real battle, and oh my, that team looks kind of terrifying. <laughs> um, oh, looks awfully terrifying. Um, I'm happy he's still starting with Palafin, uh, Mr. Brute. Oh, oh. Not having a ground type here is going to be a little bit rough, but should be okay. Who am I, like, really scared of? Honestly, like, I don't know. I feel like Fluttermane? As long as we get, as long as we get going, should be really good here. And I feel like Brute can be good support. And we still have Intimidate on like Arcanine as well. But this team is looking a bit terrifying. So hopefully we can, can deal with it. The fish, the Chi Yu or whatever it is, is it seems very strong. And I'm a little bit terrified of it. But we'll see how we go. I haven't versed any of these mons yet either, so. Where my guys going with the full Paradox team? <laughs> All right, the Roaring Moon and the Hydreigon to start things off, or the whatever, whatever the uh, whatever the uh, Iron version of it's called. So I'm going to switch out and bring in Arcanine here. We could do we try to get away with a with a flip turn, like flip turn here. And then hard switch into Arcanine here. Pray that they're like not EV trained. <laughs> I don't think I'd do this play if uh, we were in like ranked or something where like I expect them to more be EV trained and like IV. But here maybe there's a chance. Pray that they are uh, clear emulent. Oh god. Electric terrain. Oh no. Well, that's a matter for um, Soaring Moon, right? Because it doesn't activate its ability. Earthquake. Oh god. Oh, huge damage. Actually, Palafin didn't take too much damage there, so that's fine. Flip turn. Okay. Um, I'm happy to bring in Fluttermain here. What I'm going to do... I might just go for EQ, right? So what I might do... Let's go for the Protect straight away. And then try and Willow uh, Roaring Moon. If we can maybe get this off, this would be huge. So Protect. See what he does here. Tailwind, that sucks. That Pokemon it's gonna, it seems like it's going to be very annoying. Throw Chop. Huge. So we get the burn off here as long as it doesn't miss, which I'm praying. Because <laughs> that would suck otherwise. Yep. will o Wispier. Very nice. Very good. Okay, and I think like a D-Gleam here is just fine, right? Because I don't know if they can like, if a double up will kill us with the burn. It's like D-Gleam... Helping end. They will outspeed because of the Tailwind, which does suck, but you know, it's there. Snarl, oh, that sucks. But hopefully the, um, hopefully the Helping Hand will help bypass that and we can take this thing out. Oh, I need to change this berry actually, because it's, <laughs> it's gonna confuse Arcanine. Whoops, I forgot to do it last time. That's fine, let's see, Throat Chop. Can we live it with the burn? Huge. Deagling with the helping hand here. Amazing. Okay. This takes out two of their Pokemon here, which is, you know, nice. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Uh, now our, like, main concern is stalling our tr uh, Tailwind, right? Actually, we'll see what he sends out here. Because if it's things that can't deal with uh, Bonnet very well, 
We could be in a really good spot. So let's see what they send out. It is going to be Mr. Iron Treads and the Glade Thick. Wait, is that the... Oh, the Shiny looks sick. Um, I feel like... Attack was heightened. Hmm. Is it a fighting type? Check status. Two turns of Tailwind left. So if I can get a Protect off here and a Willow, that'd be nice, but we'll see. They are going to Terror. Probably getting rid of that fighting type. Oh, terroring um the iron guy into the ground. Very nice. Do we outspeed an iron treads? We aren't max speed, but we'll see, I guess. He goes for protect. Oh, that sucks actually. Let's coin the smelly for us. He's going to be going first as well. E keys here. Yeah, I'll definitely take out Arcanine because of the terror. But it's fine. Arcanine's dead there. Okay. It has to be there anyway, didn't it? Yeah, so it's fine. So we can bring out Brute now. Um. Nah, I could sack Flutter here. Just go for. Moonblast, Terra, so we're not weak to any fighting type moves, and then just seed bomb the Iron Treads. And pray. And then hopefully from here. Um from here, Mr. Mr. Jet Punch of Hell can pick up some KOs. Be neat. Let's go. Sorry for the vibration. The bonnet of hell. This just means as well that like, um, yeah, no fighting type moves are going to do too much. Spirit Break or Fairy type moves even. That still did huge damage. Hold by Lord. Lost some of its HP. That's fine. Eat up a yummy little berry. Like I dare say like an Earthquake here would just kill everything now. Bulldoze. That's fine as well. Our teams are the fastest and that actually helps us out more than him. So I don't know. Like, because Brute having less speed is okay, and then, you know, it just kills Flutter main, so the speed drop there doesn't really matter. Get this huge Seed Bomb off right now. Ooh, barely not enough to take it out, but in saying that, so the opposing teams, Dingo goes out, winning. And the Electric, oh, and the Quirk Drives are going to run off now too. Awesome. Okay, so we'll bring out Mr. Palafin. Which is nice, zero to hero. Okay. Because all we have to do now is jet punch and then sucker punch. And this should be hopefully a clean KO. I don't know what they can really do to avoid this. My guy is a little hero. So yep, jet punch. This should kill choice band. Yep. Insane. This Pokemon is freaking crazy, man. Okay. And then sucker punch. Bam. The priority to finish off those two. Easy peasy. Alright, that was looking a bit scary at the start there, but getting the burn on the Roaring Moon just actually saved us, like saved the game there. Which is huge. And it would have been even easier if we didn't have the um, amulet as well, because then that way if we miss burn, we might have been able to lift the throw chopper as well. But, you know, we got the burn anyway, so it just doesn't matter. Alright, another battle. <laughs> they're, using, they're using the legendary, but let's see if we can... Uh, if we could still do something about that. We could start Palafin. I really just like these two together. Uh, Arcanine's just really good as well. How good? I feel like Fluttermane's still decent, right? It's Dragon Fighting. Dragon Dark. And like, yeah, there's a lot of Dark types around, so I think this is fine. Let's give this a go. Sometimes, like, sometimes when I start like brute i kind of wish i had like protect i forgot to change the berry again too on arcanine but that's fine um i don't care too much if we lose this battle because it was against you know the legendary who also gives uh 
Roaring Moon a free free boost with like the you know with the drought that it has. So you know if we lose this one, I can't be too mad. But if we win this one, we can also flex the heck out of it. You know, he also they also have the probably going to be like the strongest <laughs> strongest Pokemon in VGC. Grimmsnarl, <laughs> my, my least favorite thing to verse. Oh, we're clipping through the wall again. Yep, Grimmsnarl, bloody... <laughs> Grimmsnarl, soar, Soaring Moon. Okay, is it going to be speed or attack? Damn it. I was really hoping it was going to be attack. Yeah, hey, that's fine. We can bring in Arcanine here on these guys. And then for Brute, I'm going to try and go for a Spore on the Roaring Moon. I see what he's got. He might have like fake out. Damn it! Sucks that he got a speed boost. I really, I would have much preferred a um, a boost to attack there, just to make sure Fluttermane outspeeds. Uh, we are timid though on Fluttermane as well, so I don't know what the speed tearing on that is. Pokemon showdown. I get an intimidate drop though, which is huge on both of them. It's like pretty good. They're gonna go for the Terra straight away. Turn one. All right, let's have a look. 119. Okay, so Flutter does outspeed, but it is going to be a flying type now. So that matters less that Flutter, Flutter outspeeds, honestly. Goes for Reflect. That's fine. Oh, we're going to get Acrobatics, aren't we? Uh, yeah, Bonnet's dead. <laughs> Wait, no, Bonnet's a beast. What? Oh my god, Bonnet's insane. You can't touch the king, my brother. Okay, he's asleep now, which is huge. And now... Um... Okay, having Arcanine out now is just, like, less helpful, but... So I might switch it back out into Palafin. And then... Part of me kind of just wants to Spore Grimmsnarl as well. Even just seed bomb it for damage. Just like, uh, I think Spore was better. Cause then it can't be, uh, can't be going crazy. Palafin, cause like, what if this thing has T-Wave is my only issue. <laughs> you can't talk me cause I'm, that's funny. Okay, it's fast asleep. Okay, seed bomb now. Does decent damage, but nothing crazy. We are going to switch back out into Arcanine now, get these in, just get a bunch of these Intimidate drops off. And then we can actually just Spore Grimmsnarl, huh? Does anyone know if Sucker Punch still works, even if it's asleep? Is that how that works? I'm, I'm curious. We'll, we'll test it now. Arcanize. I really want to get rid of this Soaring Moon though, like it's going to be a big problem. I haven't seen a light screen yet either from the Grimmsnarl, so... Okay, huge Sucker Punch. We actually probably should have just been Sucker Punching this thing down. It did wake up, but it is minus two now, so let's see how much damage this does. Okay, we do live, but we might get Spirit broken by uh, Grimmsnarl soon. Heal up with our Citrus Berry. Yep, Grimmsnarl going for the Spirit Break now. <laughs> this thing's insane, bro. <laughs> Dude, they actually can't touch it. Okay, so I'm happy to Wisp. And... There's no way we're getting that off, so I'm going to suck a punch as well. He might switch out because we, we do have a minus two. So maybe like, yeah, I don't know. Could have played that a bit slower maybe. Yeah, he's going to withdraw. Whatever coming in is going to be hit by the Wisp. I could have tried to Spore as well, but it's fine. Oh! Because <laughs> he's cringe like that. That does boost a Brute, but it's whatever. Our attack was heightened. Okay, Tucker Bunch doesn't go off, which is fine. We are just going to get Spirit Broken here. We do Willow this though, which is nutty, to say the least. Really, really good. Now let's see, gonna get Spirit Broken? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how long, how long does the sun last or is it just like forever? Because the Pokemon company really likes doing that sometimes. 
Um, we can bring in Flood of May now, though, right? 135. Okay, so it depends on if he's jolly or adamant if we outspeed or not. So I'm going to Helping Hand and just... Moon Blast, right? Okay, maybe even more cringe about this. Willow here. What's he showing? Reflect. Reflect, Taunt, and Spirit Break, right? I'm gonna protect. I don't trust this guy. He could light screen, but like he's gonna get light screen off either way, so I might as well get a protect off here. Because he could also switch out Coridon. So this is just a good way to uh, see where we're at. Okay, he's gonna redraw. That's fine. Does send out. Yep, the Roaring Moon, which is fine. Go for the Protect here. Mm. Taunt Arcanine, which sucks, but it's whatever. How much does that suck though? Quite, quite a bit, quite a bit. Reflect War off. Okay, hit me out, I think. Well, Crydon's in the back with Sun. Okay. Going, I'm happy going for Flamethrower Moon Blast, right? Reflect again. I'm going to say he doesn't have light screen if he's not light screening in front of us. Acrobatics. <sighs> it must be a speed tie then, right? Is that speed? Wait, no. Well, that is 135. With speed boost and timid. Okay, well, I don't know why that didn't work then. Because Roaring is 119. So something's... Am I not timid or? Oh, my natures didn't go through. My, I didn't timid my, oh my God. That might actually like lose us the battle, which sucks for obvious reasons, but we're just gonna flamethrower here. And jet punch here. With Drew, probably into Gryden. Whatever. Oh, into me. <sighs> Dude, it sucks. Jet punch, though. Oh, we can we can go um Terra Psychic. Oh, but the flamethrower is gonna come in here too. Oh, that's huge. Oh, yeah, that's really good. It's really good, really good. Arcanine shakes off the taunt. All right, wait, we're gamers. No keep. Okay, now we don't have to Terra Psychic, which is huge for obvious reasons. Wait, do you still have another big one? Oh, Grimstar. That sucks, but it's fine. Um, well, this thing's burnt. So I'm happy flamethrowing. Did I not? Oh, no, it's clicking. I think flamethrower just takes this thing out, right? Hmm. We'll do it for the chip just to make sure. Needs a berry. <laughs> okay, well, we'll find out if it was going to take out or not anyway. Dragon Claw with the burn. Yeah, not too much damage there, which is huge. Flamethrower in the sun. No light screen. Perfect. All right. Arch Sunlight does fade, which is pretty better than not, right? Because at least now Palafin's not getting too destroyed by the sun here. The battle was cancelled. We won! <laughs> nice legendary, you dweeb. Actually destroyed. Okay, I'm going to timid and change my berry on the Arcanine. <laughs> like, make Fluttermane timid and change my... God damn. All right, so we have another battle this time. <laughs> this time with us, like, actually, um, you know, not being dumb. <laughs> with the... Uh... 
Oh, Lilligan and Torkoal. Okay. Um, I'm happy going this. Torkoal sucks for us. I think, honestly, over this, we should run like Tita. Um, but yeah, we got the right items and stuff now, so that's neat. Helps out a lot, obviously. Uh, what Pokemon can they lead to stop like this? But then... Hmm. I got some... What's a bad time for us? Because we can spoil most things. I'm thinking this. If we do get put into this trick room situation, then it's whatever. All right, look, we're, <laughs> like, we're going to lose anyway. But we're going to try and not get trick roomed. So they could lead Torkoal. If they lead Torkoal, we just Shadow Bullet, though, and, like, weaken Eruption's power. So that's fine. We'll see what he does, though. I think, like, Mimikyu Torkoal is probably going to be the lead. Mimikyu Arcanine. Which is fine. Intimidates us both. Doesn't really matter. Because we should... Hmm, could be Lumberry. Which might be why they're so non-hesitant to lead like to lead with it like this. You know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And then... I'm kind of happy just protecting Fluttermane here. But I might Shadow Ball... Because realistically, you're going to be going for Mr. Bonnet anyway. Break the disguise here. Does Flare Blitz like. We take this every day of the week, right? Yeah, because Bonnet's just like an insane Pokemon. And I made this thing very like defensively bulky. So it should be fine. Do we. Well, it doesn't matter if we take a play rough or not, because if it doesn't go for Trick Room here. We just outspeed with Flutter Main next turn anyway. Okay, let's see if you're Lumberry or not. It's not Lumberry, that's huge for us. Okay. So Flare Blitz is definitely coming here. So we can switch into our own Arcanine. And Shadow Ball. He does withdraw, that's fine. It still has a sleep turn left. I might bring in his own Arcanine here. Oh, brings out Gastron. That's okay. Bring out, send out Brute. Bring in Arcanize. They bring out Gastrodon. Do they really have? Do they really have Torkoal on the back here? We'll see. This Shadow Ball should still do a bunch of damage too. Decent damage. Blade Blitz from Arcanine here. That's fine. Might get yawned by um by Gastro here too. That's what I might do. Um This is a bit of a icky spot. I think I'm happy to helping hand. Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball here. Should do big damage, right? Ooh, barely not much. Snarls, that's fine. Our own Arcanine could take this other Arcanine out next turn. Goes for a cover. Which again, I'm like, I'm not too concerned about this Gastron being on the field right now. New Kip. So I am going to Flamethrower here and go for Moonblast here. Could have Moonblast the Arcanine too, but it's fine. They're going to go for the Terra here. Not too sure who they're Terroring, but it's fine. A Terra Gastro. That's Terra Water. Their own Arcanine goes for Protect, so I'm fine with that, firstly. We could get the special attack drop here with Moonblast as well. Oh, that's a crit. That's a huge crit. Flamethrower. Do we even die to a Water Terror here? Like, on either of these Pokemon? I don't think so. Chilling Water. Does that not do zero damage? Well, not zero damage, but, like, doesn't take us out. Okay, let's see if Figgy Berry. <laughs> Whether or not 
This is an issue. Alright, cool. Come here! I feel like helping hand here doesn't gleam's fine. Because we outspeed both, and this gives us the potential for a, a double knockout. And I'd rather deal with Gastrodon later than deal with Arcanine. They do try to go for the double protect, not gonna work. Dazzling Gleam. Actually, Dazzling Gleam Flamethrower would have just done the trick, huh? A <laughs> little bit stupid, but that's fine. They're going to recover. Yeah, a little bit dumb. My bad, my bad. But who do you bring out now? Torkoal? Happy with you bringing out Torkoal, I think. Let's see what they do send out, though. It is going to be... Mimikyu. It's nice and asleep. What I might do... It's actually Willow Gastro. Yeah, and Shadow Ball Mimikyu. The battle was cancelled. Okay. <laughs> Winning! Alright, guys. So that was the team. That was like three, four battles with it. Uh... I did build it around Palafin, but it really, Palafin is more of like a late game cleanup if the rest of my Pokemon can't get through. And at least that's how it seems to be playing at the moment. So we got the choice band with the zero to hero. Flip turn, because if you can outspeed and get a safe or get like a safe switch where you're not going to get a lot of damage, it is better to go for that choice band flip turn for the like chip damage instead of hard switching. If not, you can just hard switch. We then have jet punch with a priority. Close combat as a really strong fighting type move, and if I had like, if I had the right, um, if I had the right, like, you know, resources, I'd change that terror type to like terror fighting, or would probably just terror water. Um, but this is just from a raid, so you know, that's where we are. And uh, yeah, so then wave crash is just a really strong water type move, kind of like the water flare blitz. So that would choice band, and if we had terror water, it would be insanely strong. We're adamant nature because in most cases we are just going to be clicking jet punch anyway. So you know, I just thought going for more damage would be better. Then we have Arcanine here. The spread for this Arcanine is a little bit different. It's like 12 special attack and then max HP, and then the rest of those EVs are distributed between defense and special defense. We have Will-O-Wisp because there are a lot of physical threats in this format, and we have Helping Hand for extra damage output, Flamethrower because again, we are um, we're more specially invested than we are physically, and then Raw for anything that like might want to go for Trick Room, or anything that wants to, um, like has a lot of setup going on for it, then we can get rid of those boosts straight away. Uh, yeah, this Pokemon is probably my favorite on the team so far it really helps set up the rest of like the rest of them and i was a huge fan of arcanine in sword and shield when it first came out so yeah, having intimidate plus will-o-wisp really helps out our next pokemon Fluttermane. this thing has abysmal defense it's like base 55 or something like that so if a pokemon is intimidated and burnt it really helps like it's insane how much it helps it just we live like we lived almost two throw chops before from a pokemon because of the burn and intimidate so it really helps this Pokemon out survive on the field a bit longer, and this Pokemon is insane. This is actually our main carry, which I really didn't mean for it to be. I meant for Palafin to be the main carry, uh, but this thing is just insane. Like helping hand with Arcanine to boost like Dazzling Gleam for like the double for the spread damage, the Shadow Ball, the Moon Blast. It's all a very simple set, not much coverage going on, but it's like Dazzling Gleam's good if you want to try and get like a double knockout. Say they're both low, uh, and then Moon Blast is just better for that single target damage. And then we have Protect because, again, this thing's pretty frail and you want to try and get it in position for, like, Arcanine to come in and get a free Intimidate. So, like, let's say we had Fluttermane and Brute on the field. We could Protect Fluttermane and then send out Arcanine for the Intimidate drop, potentially live an attack from an opponent, and then take out the opponent from there. Then we have an, a Pokemon I haven't been able to use yet, so I really couldn't comment on how good it is. This is Esparta. It has the ability Speed Boost, so every turn it, like, it raises the speed plus one. Then we have Protect. Dazzling Gleam, Luminia Crash, which is a really cool move. It's basically fake tears, but does uh, but is an 80 base damage move. So really good. And then we have Coal Mine. So with the next Pokemon, which we'll talk about in a second, uh, we can potentially, again, I haven't been able to do it yet, get up a free Coal Mine and a free Speed Boost, maybe even two of those. So yeah, this Pokemon in theory looks really cool, but again, I haven't really been able to bring it because the first three Pokemon just seem like they have a lot more value at the moment. And then this is, again, another Pokemon that I'm really enjoying using. 
Um, and I guess I'm just really enjoying the support Pokemon. This is Brute Bonnet. Uh, this is the Amoongus Paradox Pokemon. This thing is freaking nuts. Again, I went for a more of a dis defensive spread with max HP, I think. Um, let me see if I got it up in Showdown, actually. Um, it should be here. Oh, sorry, not, yeah, so max HP, 12 attack, 204 defense, which, like, as you saw, taking that Flare Blitz comes in very helpful. Uh, it also allowed me to live, like, um, a Terra Flying Acrobatics from Roaring Moon. Though I don't know if that was ID and EV, but I did, I lived that pretty comfortably. And then, for special defense, we got, like, a nice 40, because, again, I don't think there are many special attacking threats, at least I haven't really run into any yet. This thing is insane. It wools a lot of good Pokemon. Things like um, Miascarada, if they don't have U-Turn, it does really well against. And even if they do, if you Terra Grass, U-Turn still isn't doing that much damage. Uh, and then you can Terra Grass against fighting types as well, which is mainly when I use my Terra, is to keep this thing alive. Uh, but yeah, so this is a really bulky Pokemon with really good attack. It has Sucker Punch and Seed Bomb, which are both really good stab moves. And Sucker Punch is just nice for finishing off those Pokemon like you saw, I think, in Game 2. And then we have Spore, which is probably one of the most broken moves in the game, as it's 100% accurate sleep, which can really turn the like tide of a battle. Putting like a carry to sleep where it just can't do anything, or even support Pokemon. Like, I had a game before where I put an Umbreon to sleep so it couldn't yawn anyone. And then we have Rage Powder for the redirection, which again, I don't think I've like actually clicked a move yet. Uh, but in theory, it's going to be very helpful to keep things like Esparta from being uh, one shot and allowing it to set up. Keep things like Fluttermane safe uh, and then Palafin safe as well from those um, from like electric type moves. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on grass type, so you can't Rage Powder a grass type so to protect Palafin, but you know, that's fine. Uh, and then yeah, again, Sucker Punch is just insane. It's insanely good on this Pokemon. It's very useful. And then we have a Corviknight, which again is another Pokemon I haven't really been able to use. Uh, just Protect, Taunt, Iron Defense, Body Press, you know, a very normal set. I would rather that Taunt be Roost, but I'm a little bit too lazy to do the Egg Moves on that one. But not too much to say, this is just a normal Corviknight set. If you do get that Iron Defense off, let's say, with, again, Brute next to it, being able to Rage Powder away those Electric-type uh, attacks, not going to be able to, like, really Rage Powder away the Fire-type type, uh, fi fly uh, fire type attacks. Although you could, because, again, it's a very bulky Pokemon. But yeah, so um, max special defense, max HP on this one, because we are going to be boosting that defense stat anyway. So you might as well keep it bulky on the special defense side while trying to set up that iron defense. But yeah, this, um, oh, that's how I check EVs, really. Okay, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, how do I do that? How did I do that? Ah, right, there we go. So you have a quick look at the spreads here. So that's the, that's the Amoongus spread, the Sparta. Yeah, and then, you know, 252 on the rest of them. That's the Arcanine spread, which is a very nice little evenly distributed thing. But yeah, so that's the team, guys. Uh, I think it's pretty decent. I don't know how good it's going to be once, like, rank comes out and people figure out the format a bit now. But it's very fast-paced. Um, kind of fast-paced anyway, like, with, with, like, two carries, two supports. And these supports really help, like, keep enable the carries, I think. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all next time.